Hello everyone, this is Sue. Um, in this video, I am going to work on another manufacturer's tag like I'm showing you here. This one I loved, I pieced together some scrapbook paper, added a couple die cut flowers, as well as um, a paper butterfly on the top. So nice and easy and I'm using up scrapbook paper that uh, was part of the plan for this project and today we're going to work on that manufacturer's tag for a blanket and <clears throat> i took out all kinds of stuff right you know as usual and um i probably yeah there's a lot of it that i'm not going to use but a lot of it i will use so this scrapbook paper is, I believe, from Fun Stamper's Journey. I don't even know if that company exists anymore, but I, when they were popular, at least for me, when they were popular, um, like their products were really, really well made, and I really liked them very much, both their stamps and their their papers. Uh, but anyway, so this is some leftover paper from a project um, a while back. And I decided on the back, I'm just going to put a piece of, you know, paper that I could write on so I could use it as a journaling card at some point in one of my journals. Or I could swap it with somebody or, you know, just send it as a as a little as a little, you know, happy mail to somebody. Um, but yeah, so I am just burnishing, you know, with my hands. I'm not doing anything special as far as burnishing, except for this. So I'm taking this old Creative Memories um, sandpaper, really, is what it is. It's a sanding block. And I'm just going around the edges and just sanding that paper down and um, I go around all of the edges a few times and you can see it makes a mess so if you're going to do this step in working on a manufacturer's tag just yep leave plenty of room because it's going to get all over and you want it to where you can clean up easily so I like where this is at so far. Now I'm going to try placement of different things. And I have been trying to use that piece, that background piece, for quite a while now. And it's not going to end up on this project either, but I try. So I had this Tim Holtz. I'm pretty sure it's Tim Holtz flower. And it was long and it was bent and it was not in good shape. So I cut it in two. And I originally thought I was going to use that half right there, but then I started playing around with this half. And I liked that placement a lot because the flowers, like that top flower, ends up on that lighter area of the scrapbook paper. And I just thought it looked really pretty. Now that wood veneer that says growth, I think is from Allie Edwards. I think it's from one of her kits from long ago. And um, so here I was just trying to figure out where I could put some washi tape um, because I do still have some washi tape pieces um, stuck to my, my work area and I'm just trying to use it all up. And this was a nice way to almost make a foundation, so to speak, for the um for the flower to to sit on this washi right here says cherish and i thought maybe i could get it on here somewhere but you know it's it was just you'll see it's just a little bit too big i didn't want to cover there it is i didn't want to cover that background i really liked that yeah i liked it so i didn't want to cover it up but I am taking, like, that's a piece of Dina Wakely, and on the bottom is a piece of Dina Wakely, and then another washi tape from somewhere. And, yeah, so I was able to use three pieces of washi on here. Yay, me. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, so I'm happy with that. And I know that that's where I want the flower. And I think that that's looking pretty. And, and I'm, you know, fairly sure that's where the word growth is going to go. But I want to try to use some of these Tim Holtz little pieces. And I like where that is. And, you know, as I was doing this and I'm picking out pieces that had a lot of blue on them, I'm like, gosh, it's not very often I do something in blue. So this is a little bit of a, a little different for me because I tend to go towards the pinks, the yellows, even orange. Um, but yeah, so yeah, so I like the placement of these little pieces so far, but we'll see where it all ends up. Now I'm trying to keep these two little pieces over here um, pretty much where they were, uh, which is always hard to do when you, you know, when you have to pick something up to glue it and then you go to put it back down. It's like, so where was it? <laughs> but you know, it worked out quite well and I was happy with the placement of those. And yeah, so now we're gonna go ahead and get the flower down. So this little piece of wax paper, that's a piece of just regular old kitchen wax paper, nothing special. And I have been using that one piece for weeks to glue on. I don't know what is different about it because normally, you know, I might use a piece of old paper, right? Something to glue on where I'm not making a mess on my desk. And for whatever reason, I keep going back to that one little piece of wax paper. And yeah, so I can highly recommend wax paper as your, as you know, to cover up your desk um, and you don't get glue all over it. And now to get down this wood veneer, I'm going to use some of this old glue um, that I've had for a long time. I had to switch to wet adhesive because, yeah, so, so that wood veneer is, it's kind of like on the flower. It's not really, really, really touching the, the card, the manufacturer's card very well because it's uh, the, the flower, the die cut is making it raised up a little bit, but it worked very well. So I knew I wanted to do some edging and get rid of those red or those white edges. And I pulled out my little Distress Ink organizer there. And yep, I went with this color blue. It's ocean something, don't recall exactly what it is. And yeah. And then I'm like looking at this and I'm like, oh, that word growth, it needs something. So I pull out the, the ink again and I try to ink it while it's on here. Well, I got ink all over the flower, <laughs> which was fine because the flower, the top of it is like a gloss. So it basically rubbed right off. But then I'm like, well, hey, you know, I used a wet adhesive. I'm just going to take that wood veneer off and ink the edges uh, more easily. And of course I got some of the ink on the top of it, which was fine because I wanted to tone it down just a little bit anyway. And yeah, and it went right back on easy peasy. And now I'm gonna lift it up so you can see it up close. So let me know what you think. Let me know if you're gonna work on a manufacturer's card. I hope you are. And yeah, so thank you so much for being here. Please hit the subscribe button. God bless.